There are times when we play the game of football manager, we just want our players to play a specific style of passing. We want our defenders to play it short. We want the key players to take risks with the ball. We want to be a bit creative with our passing. Is there a way to do this more effectively on football manager? On today's video, I'm going to talk about creative passing. I'm revisiting a topic I did a few years ago. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel where you'll find tips, tricks, hacks, guides for the game football manager. You'll also find me streaming on Daljit's Moments. That's another YouTube channel three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can pop in, ask me anything you want. We can always change the save around uh, if you need help with the tactic. And on Wednesdays, I do bring your tactics. That's streamed on Daljit's Moments. You can bring your tactics as well and we'll give it a go and see what we can do with that tactic. On Tuesdays, you'll find me doing public drafts. Yes, there's a form of football where we get to play against each other. And if you fancy that, join me on Twitch. Yes, I do stream on Twitch too. A couple of years ago, 2016, I did a video called Creative Passing. Essentially, it's about how you can do all kinds of wonderful things with uh, passing instructions in the game. Uh, I find that quite a number of people out there, they tend to be pretty locked into a certain style of play. And then when they see some of my videos, they go like, how is it possible for you to keep the ball so well? And how did you manage to trigger that quick transition just by that one player making those kind of passes? Well, it's got to do with creative passing. What do I mean by creative passing? Well, in the game of Football Manager, that's basically just using play instructions in a more creative way. Perhaps you want to create a counter-attacking style of football for your underdog side. But you don't want your players to simply hoof the ball. What you want them to do is keep the ball intelligently, give it to those players on the pitch who know how to unlock defenses really well and expect them to make those kind of creative direct passes into space. So how do we do that on Football Manager? Here I've got a tactic that I've been using with uh, Cagliari. They're a side playing in Serie A. In real life, they're actually struggling in the Serie A. And... Um, when you begin the game football manager, you will find that very quickly that a lot of sides like to attack you. So you want to be a bit more intelligent with the way you use your ball. If you go into the game for the first time and you create any kind of a new tactic and perhaps you're looking at making a um, counter-attacking tactic and you come in here and you go, okay, I want to do a direct counter-attacking system. Then you pick like a 4-3-3 DM wide and you go in and you'll have these uh, instructions on the screen already. You'll have like your um, instructions on the left and then you'll have our roles and duties and you'll have instructions here that are blank right here we got force opposition outside which draws teams into um your half allowing them to attack your flanks your lower defensive line lower line of engagement and but your team is still pressing quite intensely which is kind of strange because um it lo a lower line of engagement just tells your strikers basically to drop back and then block passing lanes uh, and then when they get into this zone here, they're supposed to start triggering the press. And then when you get, look at your players, how do you release your passes? You're playing on cautious mentality. There's going to be a lot of um, risk-free football. So your players are probably going to kick the ball if they get a chance to. Looking at him, there's nothing here that indicates what he's going to do. He's got standards. So basically, you're telling your player to go mix his passes. Here you've got NCB, who is going to hoof the ball because he's got direct passes on. Uh, he gets a chance. He's just going to kick the ball long. And then we've got wing back here. We don't know what he's going to do, but according to this, he's going to be playing a mixed brand of passing. So it could be short, it could be long. So when you look at all your players, looking at this tells you what they're going to do. Standard just means mixed, right? So it's going to be a mix of short, long, or direct. So it's really up to him. Lovely. <laughs> As we go up the pitch, you'll discover this guy is doing the same thing. It's mixed. Yep. Do we know what he's going to do? No. Then we come to the box the box midfielder, he's mixed too. So we've got a whole bunch of players who are mixed. We've got the team set on direct passing with a higher tempo. Uh, so the idea here is, uh, well, the, the team as a whole is going to be playing a bit, it a bit more directly. But when you go to your players on the pitch, some of them are going to be given... Uh, some of them might do short passing. Some of them might do really long passing. You can't really... You don't really know what they're going to do. One of the things about Football Manager is... 
preset tactics, they tend to be a bit, um, they've got loads of instructions that sometimes feel like an overkill. And, well, personally speaking, if you want to get better at the game, eventually you'll need to be able to craft your own tactics. <laughs> or, you know, go download a tactic. Who am I to judge? So what you can do is, if you look at this, your team is already playing on more direct passing. What you can do is you can come in here, click on this green bar, and then you see the OK button is ready for you to click. Once you hit OK, you see a play instruction that says you you've told him to adopt a shorter passing game and primarily retain the ball with the patient approach. You do the same thing with other roles, and you see this thing light up. Go to Anchorman, do the same thing. Now what we've got is a whole bunch of players that have been told to pass it shorter, except for roles that are hard-coded to pass a certain way. There's no nonsense centre-back, it's hard-coded to kick the ball long. So if you don't want him to kick the ball long, choose a central defender and do, give him the instruction. So you can do this with any player in the back line, right? So now we've got a whole bunch of players at the back who are going to pass it short. Now when they pass it short, they're naturally going to look for available players around them. So if they give it to the anchor man, he's going to keep it short, looking for one or two of these players. Now what if we were to use in this position a DLP? Now we could switch this to a deep line playmaker and we can expect this guy to try and unlock some certain sides. What I like to do with these kind of players is I like to then give him direct passing. But hey, the team is already on direct passing. And now we've given these players shorter passing, which basically isn't a bad idea. But now all these players in front are going to be on direct passing. But what if I only want these two players to do direct passing and I want these two players to be the main goal scorers? What you do is you come in here, you drag this back to shorter, you come to your DLP, and you choose more direct passing. You need to play with the, you need to play around with the team passing meters in order to do this. Then we can come to our winger, we can tell our winger to do more direct passing. Then we can go back in here and tell the rest of these players to do short, um, standard passing. Once you come here, this is standard, which is mixed. Uh, players will be electing to choose between sh short mix, uh, short direct and um, long passes. Now we've got a whole bunch of players and you can see everybody here is now passing it shorter. They've all been locked in. We've got this player who's on mixed passing. Right. He, he, of course, if you want to tell him to go direct, nobody's stopping you. And then you've got this player. He's been told to go. He, you can tell him to keep it short or you can ask him to go mixed passing. And then we've got our... Um, passing meter set up. So now what we've done is we've influenced the team and we've actually told our team to play a brand of counter-attacking football which prioritizes keeping the ball a bit more intelligently with the back line so they don't just hoof the ball at the first opportunity. Now, here I would recommend very strongly not to use a sweeper keeper. You probably want to use a goalkeeper on defense because sweeper keepers will take the ball, uh, will try and control the ball with their feet and, you know, might put you under some pressure, so you might want to be thinking about using a goalkeeper on defense. There we go. We set up a tactic just like this. So what are the pros and cons of doing this? The best advantage of doing this is you can create styles of football that the AI isn't using, and you can create styles of football that are unique to your own team. Here we have my Cagliari side that is set up. We shot passing at the back, and the playmakers have been told to pick direct passing. So now as the ball moves around, the players are not hoofing the ball simply. And as we get back to our DLF, now our deep line playmaker has the ball. He looks for the opportunity and passes it immediately to the inside forward. Now, the idea here is really simple. The idea is to try to get the better passes in your team, playing those kind of uh, raking passes across the pitch to unlock certain sides. It's, a, it's an interesting way of playing the game. And you can get quite imaginative with the way you set things up. Here I've got a 4-2-3-1. Uh, we've got pass it shorter set for my wing back. My ball playing defender is uh, going to take more risk, so I can expect him to play the direct pass occasionally. The central defender is not being told to play it short, but here we've got pass it shorter. The whole team is set to shorter passing. But once we get to midfield, I've got a DLP on direct passes. I've got a box-to-box -box midfielder on direct passes. i also got an inverted wing on direct passes. The AP is simply going to play with take more risk, so I can expect him occasionally to play mixed passes. The DLF is playing shorter passing. The inside four has been told to play shorter passing. Here I have a tactic with several players with different kinds of instructions. So we can create a 4 3 one 2 A 4 3 one 2 set around counter attacking for a while. In the center, we can put an attacking midfielder on attack. We can find a guy who's really tall 
um, and um, set him to be a target man. Of course, we we can't we don't have that currently in the game, but we can set this guy up in the middle. I'll put a really tall player here. We can then edit these instructions. Tell him to go direct, right? Cross on deep, cross towards the center, and over here, same instructions, more direct, cross on deep. Okay, we can even add take more risk. To take more risk is essentially telling a player to play a few more balls into space, uh, take a few more chances with the uh, passing. It's basically another way of saying pass into space. So we've got these two guys doing what I used to love saying in the ICBM passes. These passes are going to be long from the back. Uh, you can even play this as a target forward, set this a guy up as a poacher, and you can even do this. So he's got a target forward to pass to. And this guy uh, hooves the ball from the back. We got these two guys playing it short. We can tell this central midfielder as well to keep the ball short. And then we can have a setup here where the ball is being circulated wide uh, through the uh, to, through the fullbacks as often as we can. So the Mazala is going to support the half space. The Carillo is going to support the half space. The fullback is always going to look inside because that's the way the role is designed. Um, then we can set the team to play it shorter, tempo to be a lot higher. Uh, we don't have to play our defense, we can hit the early cross pass into space. And in transition, we can regroup counter. And then uh, you can even now distribute the ball to the area of the pitch. You can distribute it now to this position on the pitch and tell the keeper to kick it long to this player, distribute it quickly. Out of possession, we can play with the lower defensive line and a lower line of engagement and play a kind of a tactic where essentially what we're doing is we're soaking pressure and then we're hitting one over the top. Of course, there are going to be traits in the game that influence whether or not you can play direct passing. Sometimes a player is, uh, likes to play short, simple passes and you decide to give him direct passing. Now, does that trait now negate the play instruction? Traits are a tendency to and they're heavily influenced by a player's teamwork. It is uh, a tendency to do something in the game. It is not a um, zero-sum situation where the trade takes precedence over the play instruction. That doesn't happen in the game of football manager. It's always going to be a tendency too. So even if the play, even if you get a warning, um, little warning that you get in the game that you can't use that play instruction because he's got a trade, well, you can still leave it there because it's only a tendency. Do you need to use play instructions to get the best out of the game? Of course not. I mean. You can easily find success without using these kind of passing instructions. I'm suggesting this as a possible solution if you have a situation in your tactical setup where you find certain players just hoofing the ball mindlessly. Consider using these kind of passing instructions. It could help. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.